the last episode, we saw Shin in Nagumo's memories where he recognizes Heine. Now, inside the clinic, Nagumo is playing with Heine, who apologizes to her for not showing up in front of her friends because she is still afraid of strangers. But Nagumo doesn't mind and forgives her. Heine further tells her about her four-armed shadow friend, Shide, who always protects her and keeps her safe from the outside world. Shin and Yushio's shadow continue to observe Nagumo and Heine's relationship as days and months of memories pass and their friendship develops. They witnessed how Heine helped Nagumo and even cried like a baby, calling for her parents and brothers. It is becoming increasingly difficult for them to believe that this kind-hearted child is the same as the cruel one who is desperately trying to eradicate humanity. Soon, the memories take them to Summers, when Nagumo meets Nezu on her way to Heine. Nezu asks her to return home since it is dangerous to wander around in the wilderness as snakes have been spotted nearby. Meanwhile, Ryonosuke is looking for Nagumo and ends up coming into the forest worried about his sister. He is about to go to the clinic when he comes across a strange figure sitting all by herself, thinking of her as a lost child. Ryonosuke approaches her, only to be met with red eyes glaring back at him. Nagumo is on her way again when she hears a strange noise and notices a flash coming from nearby bushes. She goes to investigate, but is horrified to witness her brother's dead body in front of Heine, who is absorbing and feasting on his memories and data. Nagumo cries out for her brother and begs Heine to stop, questioning why she did it. When Heine sees her sobbing friend, she snaps out of her trance and shrieks, denying everything she has done. Her guilt, however, is so intense that her right eye pops out of its socket as she writhes in pain and vanishes, leaving Nagumo behind to mourn her brother's death. Just then, Nagumo is attacked by some stray shadows and is saved by Nezu, who tries to fight them off but ends up getting injured. They are soon cornered by the shadows and are on the verge of getting hurt when Nagumo hears her brother's voice inside her head as he takes control and kills the shadows. It is then revealed that in distress, Heine bounced off Ryonosuke's data onto Nagumo, causing his shadow to merge with her body. As a result, they developed a dual personality. After the unfortunate incident, Nagumo left the island, leaving all her memories with Heine behind. This is the final scene Shin and Yushio Shadow experience as they are thrown back into a new loop just before they attack the Shiori family. Already aware of the consequences, Shin stops Nagumo and Nizu from carrying out their plan and requests they abort the mission. Heine, too, on the other hand, teleports to the new timeline and realizes that the time range shrinks with each loop, making it impossible to change the time past beyond a certain limit. When Heine and Shide discover this weakness of Shin's power, they decide to change their strategy, and instead of capturing Shin alive, they plan to kill him repeatedly until he has no time to loop back to. The scene then shifts to Shin, who offers Nagumo food and gathers everyone, including So, Mio, Tokiko, and even Officer Tetsu at a school, where Yushio Shadow imparts her memories onto them to share their loop experiences so that they can be aware of the situation and help them all as a team. Nezu, on the other hand, is hiding in the bushes with his rifle pointed at Shin's house, keeping an eye out for Mio Shadow, who is expected to arrive soon. However, he is ambushed by Mio Shadow, who kills him and seizes his rifle. Back at the safe place, Shin and Yushio Shadow try to get everyone on board to help them fight against the shadows. Though initially they seem reluctant, soon they all agree to do their best to stop the festival day havoc. This makes Shin more confident as he approaches his team to thank them, when suddenly everything turns dark. Shin opens his eyes to find himself back in the kitchen, preparing food as he looks around, perplexed, wondering if he had just died, but when. Shin is still confused about what happened when Mio and Yushio Shadow find him in the kitchen. They explain to him how he was shot right in the head with a rifle from somewhere outside. Shin becomes disheartened after realizing it had to be Nizu's rifle and that Nizu had been captured by shadows in the previous loop, blaming himself for not being careful. However, what they don't understand is why Heine is now attempting to kill Shin rather than keeping him alive fully aware that he will enter into a new loop. 
Just then, something clicks in Shin's mind and his face pales as he realizes what Heine is really up to. The scene shifts to Shin explaining Heine's plan to everyone, informing them that his power has a limit and that when he dies, he only returns to the time range set by the loop as the starting point and cannot go beyond it. Time then proceeds at its normal pace, and as he advances in the timeline, so does the new starting point for the next loop. Because of its slow speed, it has not been able to catch up until now. However, the more he dies, the more time he will lose in the loop. As a result, if he dies again at the same time as the previous loop, or worse, earlier, the new loop will go beyond him, leaving him with no starting point to return to, and he will die for real. He further states that according to this assumption, he is only left with one more loop, and if he doesn't do things right this time, everything will fall apart and Heine will be successful in fulfilling her evil plans. Hearing Shin's hypothesis, everyone becomes terrified, but eventually resolves to fight Heine with everything they have in order to save humanity. At night, Shin is seen standing alone on the school grounds, while Heine, in Shiori's shadow form, Shide, and their other shadow team members approach him for a final battle, hoping to kill him one more time to force him to the final loop. However, just as Mio's shadow is about to stab Shin, Yushio's shadow, who has been disguised as a watch until now, transforms into her true form and takes him away while Nezu hunts down the majority of the shadows with his rifle. Realizing that Shin played bait and it's all a trap, Heine gets furious as she asks Mio's shadow to take care of Nezu while she, Shide, and other shadows chase after Shin and Yushio's shadow. However, Mio, Tokiko, and So work together to slow down Mio's shadow, while Nagumo Kamryonosuke fights off the other shadows and manages to hold them back with the help of Nezu. Seeing her team weakening, Heine looks around only to find Tokiko fighting Mio's shadow with two stray baby shadows. To take control of the situation, Heine tries to use telepathy to regain her power over the strays. However, she soon discovers that her connection with those shadows has been severed and they will no longer obey her command. Realizing that Yushio's shadow is the one behind it all, Heine becomes enraged and desperately chases her, only to end up in the gymnasium where Yushio, using her hair, copies large gasoline containers and pours them on Heine and Shide, while Shin sets them on fire. As their bodies begin to burn, the shadows begin to scream in agony. Heine tries to attack Shin, but Shin, with the help of Tetsu, manages to bring her down. However, just as Yushio's shadow is about to erase Heine's shiori form, Shide reaches out, traps her, and drags her into the fire with him as she calls for Shin's help. Shin tries to save Yushio's shadow, but gets shot by Shide multiple times, rendering him helpless. He is terrified as he watches his dear friend die right in front of his eyes once again, realizing that if she died before him, he may never be able to see her again. However, just as he is about to give up hope, Yushio's shadow, who had transformed herself into the shell locket to protect herself, reverts to her original form as Shin and Shide realize she had swapped places with a fake copy created out of her hair. Yushio's shadow starts destroying Shide as she and Shin notice a human hand buried within his form. They are about to find out more when Heine uses all of her strength to cut the oxygen out of the gymnasium, causing the fire to extinguish and allowing them to escape. After the exhausting battle, Heine and Shide are seen trying to recuperate in the wilderness, hoping that Shin will die from the bullet Shide fired at him. While Yushio Shadow and Shin, tired of the ordeal, hug each other as it is revealed that Shin is wearing a bulletproof vest that saved his life. Pleased with their efforts, Shin and his team celebrate their victory as Nagumo records all of the important details for her brother, while they request Yushio's shadow to cut Mio's shadow connection with Heine as they plan to have her on their team. That was it for the recap guys, let us know in the comments if you like it. Also subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you would like to see the rest of summertime rendering. Thanks for watching Anime Reborn, and we'll see you guys in the next video.